So I picked up my new babies yesterday. I've got six of them. Hi fellas. Um, they are between, there are three pairs of brothers. They're all between four months and eight months. Um, these are their quarantine cages that they're in for now. Brought them home yesterday. Oh, there's the other one. There's the one poking out of there. So, I kind of have their cage because they were all together in one little spot, so I didn't want to separate them too much. And I wanted to make sure that they couldn't escape this because this made me really nervous that they would be able to get out. But hello, this is my little boy with curly whiskers. He's the only one. So there's two cinnamons, um, one who's kind of curly and one who's not. And then there's two um, blue babies and two, I think they're called Harley. They're like kind of frosty. So they're just chilling. There's two in their little space pod. And then I think all three of them are in this box here. I don't see the third one. I only see um, the blue in one of the Martins. I think I've decided on names for all of them, but it'll be it'll probably be a while before I can actually tell them all apart. So we'll see. They're very cute and they're very friendly. Hi, sweetheart. Hello. Hey. You nibbling? You nibbling? But yeah. So I actually, I got some new sheets because one of my sheets ripped and so I cut out my old sheets because I thought it would help them um, during the quarantine period. Um, to kind of get my scent in the cage so that it's kind of with them even when I'm not down here. Um, just get him comfortable with me. I'll probably put some in with Tribble too, just so that he just, since he's been alone. Hey, little man. And these little curious boys. Where's your third brother? Huh? Is he tucked in the back somewhere? I can't see. But yeah, hopefully I'll be able to get, um, Better video of these guys kind of more out and about later. It's kind of early in the day, so I think they're a little... They were all sleeping when I came down. I just wanted to um, put this down in there, but I figured I'd um, give them some more food, check their water, check on them, see how they're doing, um, and give them the little... Uh, the little bits of bedding that I brought them. So, yeah. So I'm not really trying too much with handling. I'm just kind of leaving my hand in there for them to smell. You can see that I've got both of the um, Martin boys are in here and then this blue boy right here. My dog is very upset. But yeah, I'm just not really trying to do anything right now with them since they just got here other than get them used to my son, get them used to me kind of reaching in, being in here. So fluff up their bedding a little bit, add some more food in. I'm mostly just scattering their food right now because I didn't want to go too crazy with a, um, with a food bin when I usually scatter in their cage anyway. I do have this little one up here that came with this cage that is more of a um, bird feeder, but it, so I put a little bit in there just as an added challenge, but I'm not really sure. I'm assuming they've made it up here by now. Yesterday when I sat with them for a little while, um, they didn't really seem to have made it up here, but bringing them some breakfast. It looks like they've done a pretty good amount of eating. And they were eating and drinking last night, so I'm not really worried that they're too upset by the transition. They seem pretty well socialized. Hi, fellas. Hey. 
yeah, that's this cage of boys. This is where my second trio of boys are. Two of them are huddled up in the space pod. I'm not sure where the third one went. Not sure if he's in here or tucked back in that back there. So they don't seem as interested to come out, which is kind of interesting because yesterday they were the more, there he is, energetic of the, of the trios, more exploring. So give them a little more food, give them some bedding. Let's see what, where they end up taking it. I'd like to put some in the pod, but since they're already in there, I think it won't really fit. But here, you want some? And then the rest I'll save for Tribble. Can I get my hand in their cage a little bit? Ugh, their water bottle is dripping. Hey, sweet boy. This is my curly cinnamon boy. He's giving me some gentle nibbles. Hello. Oh, very handsome. Good boy. Good boy. So sweet. He's a little rough looking, but I think that's just his coloring. These two guys, I don't really want to startle them since they seem to be sleeping. Oh, somebody's giving me some snips. Hello. Hello. Here they are. You boys gonna come and say hello to me? Very sweet. I'm glad I finally bought one of those. I've been wanting one for a while. I may buy some more. What are you doing, crazy man? I was a little nervous about the bar spacing on this one, so I did make sure to put all the biggest boys in here. And um, I sat with them for probably a good hour yesterday to watch and make sure. And there was one who was trying to stick his head through the widest parts and he couldn't get out, so I felt a little more confident. Oh, look, they can get up there. Hello. Hello, dear. And all this stuff um, once. Um, once the quarantine is over, we'll probably go into the other big cage, plus a few other things that I have sitting around. But um, the breeder that I got these, these sweet little boys from, um, she had done a lot of work handling them. So they're very comfortable being touched, being picked up, um, even being scruffed and put on their back for vet procedures. And so she encouraged me, encouraged me to kind of keep up working with them on that so that they um, don't lose that comfor comfortableness that they have with those behaviors so that it's easier for, you know, vet visits and things like that. You stay in there. So she said to just make sure I'm practicing that a few minutes every day or so to try and keep them familiar with those, those things so that going to the vet won't be traumatic for them if they ever get sick. So... She seems like she was really knowledgeable and she did a really great job with these boys. They are all very friendly. So I'm excited. I'm really excited for Tribble to meet them because I think they're going to be really good for him because um, he's just, you know, he's really shy and these guys are all super friendly and super confident and just they groom each other and they cuddle with each other and Tribble's never had that. Um, with Fizbin because Fizbin, you know, was, they just did not get along well. So I think it's going to be really good for them to, for him to have companions who, you know, he can actually enjoy and not just company, but good company. So I'm, I'm really excited to introduce him to them. So I think this is going to be really good for all of us. I think it's going to be good for me too, because, um, it's just nice for me to be around rats that, I don't have to be afraid of, that I'm not afraid are going to hurt me. Because I did notice that like, even my relationship with Tribble after everything that happened with Fizbin, I was afraid, you know, I was kind of a, got a, nervous about Tribble that he might start to bite me. So I think having some good, well-adjusted boys around both of us is gonna be good for us. So 
so I'm very happy. These boys are very cute. Um, like I said, I did name them and it's kind of came with what my, my friend who helped me pick them up, um, what we were kind of calling them on the drive back. Um, once I can get them out and actually show them to you, I'll probably go more in depth on their names, but I'll probably include at the end a picture of the pic when we took them out of their travel cage and put them in their quarantine areas, we did take photos of all of them and, uh, I put their names on them. So I'll probably put that at the end of this just to show a better picture of all the boys that I, all my new boys and their names, and I'll probably explain them later, but. Um, they are keeping with the tradition of Tribble and Fizzbin's names, which are um, Star Trek references, references to the original Star Trek. So, But there is some secondary kind of logic behind why I called them what I called them. Most of it's just kind of goofy stuff that, like I said, that we said about them on the way home. But either way. Anyway, things are going good. So I'm excited for a quarantine period and introduce them to Tribble. The... Um, the breeder did suggest that I not introduce all of them to Triple at once, which I was thinking was probably a good idea anyway, not to, to not overwhelm him with six boys who all know each other. Um, See, so she suggested the two smallest, the um, the two Martin boys in the other cage because they're the smallest and the youngest, and they're very, very sweet. She said they're all very sweet, but those two are like the most like cuddly, sweet little boys. So she's thinking, um, since Trouble hasn't had a great experience with other rats and that he's a little timid, they'll be a great first meeting for him to kind of get comfortable with the idea of more friendly rats and gauge how he handles being around other rats on his own after Fizzbin. And so, um, so it'll be good. I'll introduce him just to those two at first. And since at the moment I don't have what I'm gonna want to connect my two cages, They'll probably live in a group of three and four anyway, so Tribble will live with the two Martin boys in the in the one big cage, and then these these guys, the two cinnamon boys and the two blue boys will live in the other cage. And then eventually I'm gonna try and intro all of them together and uh, connect my two cages so they can all live as one as one kind of colony together. So Apparently my dog saw a squirrel outside because it's the only time he makes that noise. But I'm gonna let these cute babies go back to sleep. I'm gonna go wash my hands and then put the rest of this bedding in with trouble. And then uh, I'll see you guys later. <laughs>